Texas. Hot right. in Texas. Let's talk about Steve will jerk it. This man fucks his dog. Let's just start by saying, well, not well, jerks him off. For example, he has when relations Donnie, with his dog. He makes him nuts. Yes. So yeah, yeah. Steve has relations with his dog. Let's just put that out there right from the I'm start. I'm just facts, you know. Um. <laughs> So this whole interview is awesome. He goes on Bradley Martin's show, you know, who I've been trying to squash the beef with, because I'll be honest, Bradley Martin seems like a, I'm yeah, he actually well, so seems like a nice guy. And, you know, we, we disagreed on the COVID thing, um, but, but he, he seems actually like a sweet guy. We reached out to him and we never heard back? Never heard back. Oh, that's okay. He doesn't need to talk to us. I'd love to talk to you though, Brad. If you want to hook up, be homies. Yeah. Wait, some fish together, boy. I mm -hmm. think you. I think you should try and mend the fence by um, going to his gym. Have him train you. Oh shit. Yeah, I think I don't know because he's so, in so tight with dudes like Steve. They might see that as a. I think that's what it is. He's his own man. He can make his own decisions. No, but come on, you know what it's like. The boys are tight. He can't be hanging out. They with just, me. yeah, they just made him the head of that podcast too. Now that the other dude is gone. Oh, he's yeah. on the he's on the Nelk podcast. Yeah, now? yeah. He replaced. Uh, he replaced the guy. They dry mouth. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> dry mouth. wow. Okay, wow. Good for Bradley. I mean, that's a big opportunity for him. He's not gonna fuck that up. Pump some iron with me. Get that. Um. But anyway, there's a lot to talk about here, but let's just cut, first of all, to what he said. First of all, here. Question, because a lot of people are asking, they're like, Steve, he's not, he's like, he doesn't have all the money anymore because, you know, you don't have the gambling stuff. Like, a lot of people talk about you, dude. They're like, they're, they're, they chirp, and I hear it, and I see it on the internet, and they, they're like, what's going on? Dude, I, I have one answer. <laughs> To anyone, especially that, I don't want to say. Well, I, especially that one, dude. There's this guy H3 that is just. A, oh, he doesn't want to say my name. It's like that, huh? Yeah, you're like Voldemort. Well, I get that. I have people like that in my life where it's like you say their name, they they take it in. You give them a you give them an inch, they take a mile, right? Or five percent. They take you give them five percent, they want the whole pie. Yeah, but you know he's right. I guess if he didn't say my name, I wouldn't be having. Yeah, no, he's. I mean, he's right. I'm gonna say it, hundred percent right. Yeah, there. he's definitely right. It's the title of the episode. He's in the thumbnail. Although to be fair, they t they put your name in the episode of this as well. Yeah, I'm in the title. Okay, so NH3 beef. Yeah, Keep they started my it. Wife's name out your fucking mouth. <laughs> That's totally me when I watch this. Um. Well, he loves talking about people. Bro, he loves talking about people, but like... <laughs> Did he say anything about you, that? No, I didn't say anything about that. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, about what? No, I do want to say it. What was he talking about, AB? You watched this whole thing, right? I was looking up something. Wait, hold on. He Dude, says, there's this guy, H3... Just prior to just, this, I believe he was, he was talking, talking about, about um, uh, his sponsor deals that he lost because he got kicked off of YouTube and stuff. Oh. They were having a whole conversation about. That. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't. I don't care that it died. I'm yeah. not trying to get him to lose sponsors. I mean, I don't care about that. Those talk. I'm not trying to ruin his life. I just think he jerked off his dog, and it's funny. You're funny that he jerked off his dog. Am I not allowed to laugh about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, what Dan said. Bradley was telling him a lot of people are saying that. Yeah, basically you don't have any money coming in. This, 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 and he's like, Nah, I still got money coming in, and everybody good. still loves me. I'm, I'm good. Good man. I'm yeah, everybody good. loves him and according you, to him. Yeah, and you're just the face. Well, the of, Nelk boys, the Nelk community still loves him. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. Why? I'm the cool dad now. Well, we saw the comments on the episode where they denied him jerking off the dog. His own audience didn't really seem. To believe a word he was saying. <laughs> They're willing to look past the dog, the bestiality. Gotcha. He's, Steve will do it, man. He's an icon. Yeah. Talking about people polite. Did he say anything about you that? No, I didn't say anything about that. Oh, okay. He said he, he like truly believes that like I jerked off my dog <laughs> and he pulls off like these young pictures of Donnie like back in the Fredonia house. <laughs> wait, wait, I haven't even I, seen like, this. Like he did yet. deep I didn't see it either. Selena saw it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but yeah. Anyway, by the way, Bradley knows that shit's funny. <laughs> Bradley knows that shit's funny. And that's why his ass is laughing, Steve. But Come also, on now. Also, I love that he's pointing out 
the age of the dog. Like it was weird because the dog was younger back then. <laughs> yeah, what are you a dog? What are you dog pedo? Yeah. The dog was <laughs> under, yeah, the dog was underage then. <laughs> I haven't jerked him off until he was. Oh. <laughs> That's when he was dribbling. <laughs> not, only, yeah. he, not only were you jerking off your dog, man, you were jerking off your dog before the age of consent. <laughs> right. Well, the dog's two now, and in dog years, it's like 14, so. Dude. Also, he went on his podcast and told a story as a joke. If it were a joke, you wanted people to talk about it because you thought it was funny. Yeah. But what's the ish? Right. That's the, that's the whole thing. That's the, the tell that it is real. Because <laughs> if he was just trolling, then it would be like, ha ha, I got you. But like, now he's like upset about it. The thing that they sure. keep failing to acknowledge is that they go, oh, I can't believe it's such an idiot to believe that. Guys, we keep showing you, even your own fans, like 100% of the comments are like, you were telling the truth. Why won't you guys acknowledge that every all the comments are saying that they agree with us, bro? Stop, <laughs> stop, you know, stop reflecting by saying, oh, I can't believe he believed that. It does, it, come on, bro, without acknowledging that all your fans believed it, too. Sorry, love, were you trying to say something? Yeah, I was going to say, your honor, the dog was of age. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 yeah, it was of age because of doggy years, so. When, <laughs> what is 18 in doggy years? Well, it would be like two and a half or something. It might be less than that. Yeah. Because they age faster in the beginning. Oh, years. so you think... It's not linear. Their dog age is like. I did not fuck my. Dog. Oh, well, do I need to break out the trigonometry well, there's calculator? Like a dog yeah. age calculator. Dog age calculator. Yeah. If he's upset about those old photos, wait till he sees the video we made for him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, he should have known where we were gonna go after he. Well, I'm on. Yeah. I'm on. Wait, the... 18 and. If a dog is 18 in human years, that's 88. Is my. Okay. Yeah, no, he's trying to find out the other First, way yeah. around. Say what, A.B.? Yeah, I know that's sort over of it, but I'm saying I don't know how to figure that out. Is there converters? 18 dog years, bro. Well, isn't it in seven? Isn't that how that works? With dogs? That's what I thought, but apparently yeah. it's far more complicated. You've no, been saying they, that they it, there's like a gradual drop-off. You need differential they calculus to figure this out. In the first three years, they age faster, and then it slows down. Interesting. Well, I'm like a 12-year-old dog is not 88. You know what I mean? Like a small dog that's 12-year-old is not. They still have a few years left, right? Mm -hmm. So it's it's not exactly like they thought. All right, French bulldog. In human years, your dog would be 24. Oh. We're just trying to. They're see. actually saying two years would already be twenty-four. So Steve might be in the clear. We okay, might okay. we might have exonerated him. Yeah. So I just want to make sure that Steve wasn't also committing um, an act of child molestation on the dog. <laughs> Canine pedo pedophilia. Yeah, but he it sounds Canis like in the clear. Pedophilus. All right, Steve, go on. You're good. <laughs> you, you you didn't uh, you didn't pedo your dog, but you <laughs> did jerk him off. <laughs> Oh Wait, my god. Hey, say what you will, but at least this is fair and accurate reporting. Jerk off Donnie? <laughs> It was like, wait, 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 like wait, he's wait, such wait. a loser. Like, is this recent? Because I, listen, I, it was kind of recent because of the podcast, but he's such a loser. Like, dude, like, so he. <laughs> he's such a loser. Yo, bro, hand me that handle of tequila. What time is it? 10 a.m.? <laughs> full, full I'm like right 24 there. years old and I look 40 and I'm <laughs> my fucking. And blood vessels are about to just burst at any moment <laughs> from the amount of fucking binge drinking I've been doing all day. Bro, I know. It's not. It's uncommon to see someone with, like, that much alcohol damage at that young age. Yeah. But anyways, you asked a question about money. You're talking to someone that... He's, yeah, I'm curious. No, but you're talking to someone that's literally sold $8 million worth of shirts in 30 minutes. Two million dollars worth of fuck Bradley Martin shirts probably on that one too. But eight, like, uh, like, yeah. serious, like, realistic. It's like where you're seeing millions go up. Like, I remember that. I remember money's days. never. Were you talking about jerking off your dog, or did you? So he's reflected by saying he sold a bunch of shirts. I mean, what are you doing here, Stevo? My dude. But dark. Been an issue, but obviously I've <laughs> Our given chat a lot is of shocked. Numbers. That he's 24. Let me uh, verify that, but I'm pretty he's sure 24. he's 24. He is 24. Yeah, yeah, I'm afraid that yeah, all everyone's like, what People, the fuck, he's yes. 24? Well, yeah. that's what happens when you live on a diet of meat and, and vodka. Just for <laughs> reference, he's six years younger than me, so if that Yikes, helps dude. put it into perspective for you guys. <laughs> Yikes, dude. Yeah, I mean, the man acts like he, he's talking like he's got brain damage from a life of alcohol abuse. I think he... <laughs> 
I think he genuinely might. Like the slurring that's going on when he talks. And or stuff. he's always on something. I don't rough. Know. Well, he did sell eight million in merch, so it's not doing too bad. Right, watch your <laughs> fucking <a> mouth, bitch. <laughs> I sold eight million dollars of shirts. It's like money will never is and will never be an issue. But why do you? Why cool, man. But why'd you jerk off your dog? <laughs> <laughs> do you think people i mean obviously because i think even even in our last pod we did you were talking about you know maybe you could have spent can less etc oh i could can you pause it for a second left. can you go back one frame sure i just want to point out someone on reddit uh made a post saying uh hold on, I want you to get, yeah as someone on reddit said are these guys even wearing <laughs> shorts <laughs> <laughs> they're so bad <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so funny, dude. <laughs> they just get absorbed Going into the high yeah. bulk. Fuck, Bosom buddies. Funny. Um, Yeah, but okay, so I'm going to jump around a little bit. <laughs> I want to get to the part where he talks about Ela. So then when I go back and react to the rest of this, then you'll know, you'll know why I'm being so hard on him. Yep. 14. Yeah, so... Better talk dude. and some jokes. Let's take a let's take a poll here. What do you think, Steve? Atta- the two things Steve hits on to get back at me, his mortal enemy, who's simply pointing out this hilarious story that he did as a comedian about scooping cum out of his dog's foreskin. What's funnier than that? I'm the cool dad now. He's the cool dad now, Brad. You go cow style. He he follows the same format as all these bait, all, all these alpha male brain dead himbos. He goes, your wife is ugly and you're fat. It's incredible. It's so crazy how they always do the same thing, isn't it? I think it's happened like five or six or seven times now. It's also after he goes on a rant about what a great role model he is and how you're not. And then he goes, oh, and also ugly wife. Yeah, there's a point I'll go. (laughs) Dude, this this picture says, are they even wearing pants? (laughs) Bro, where's your fucking pants, dude? (laughs) Oh, forgot. funny. I forgot. (laughs) I just rolled out of bed and walked in here. I don't know, man. So here it is. And again, this shit's wild, man. Here it is. So for the people who take everything fucking dead serious to their heart, like some just chill, it's like... Yeah, I got jokes. Um, mad jokes. H3H3. I don't know. It's true. I don't, he, He's going to take something out of this and be like... That guy sucks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, bro. I got a lot more to say than that. <laughs> Is that what you think I do here? I just go, that dude sucks. Who cares? Yeah. But remember, I, the, the thing that I've realized about that guy is like... No, he doesn't work out, so I, I can't take his... Can't take it serious? Boom, there. <laughs> Wait, that. was that a jump cut? There was a jump cut, yeah. Yeah. Which is kind of interesting. I wonder what they cut out. Yeah. Maybe see, maybe Bradley trying to keep the peace. No, Bradley keeps it very, very yeah. uh, cordial here. Oh, let's fucking go. Oh, oh, oh. All right, hold guys, we'll see you not. tomorrow morning for Leftovers. Sam Temple, it's real. Oh, this Is this me? Hold that thought there, Steve. Oh, oh God. God. Let's talk. Sorry, love. No yeah, Taco Bell in Sweden, huh? This is gonna trigger them so bad. No. We're like here talking shit about how he's saying you're fat. And we're like, Let's bust out the TB, baby. Keep going, baby. Yeah. So his first thing is, well, he doesn't exercise, so I can't take him seriously. Which is awesome. That's awesome that he actually says that. Is yeah, that a thing to, they believe? Thank you, Sam. To his credit, out of all the macho fucking idiots that have come at you, he's the first one, to my recollection, that just straight up said it. He is fat, and I'm not going to acknowledge him because of that. I'm not, I'm not going to take him serious because he's fat. Mm-hmm. Has anyone else actually just said it? I don't recall anyone else just saying... No. Not in a sentence. Nobody will come out and say that. Uh, it sounds so outrageous. Yeah. There's like Tate saying, like, oh, why don't you work out? I'm not going to take you serious. You're overweight and all this shit. But I don't think anyone's ever said... I'm not gonna respond to you because you're, or not take you serious because you're fat. Just saying. I think we need to start asking in presidential b- debates if they if they work out and how much. Yeah. How much can they bench, Mr. President? How much can you bench? I mean, this guy's a MAGA guy. How much does Trump bench? Like doing like have you seen her videos or she's trying to kind of 
do what I did in a way, like do really cool things and give back money and do all this. And that's a little more difficult than just posting what other girls would post, stupid ass effortless videos. Yeah, you know? I, I did this dumb ass cooking. Wait, where am I? Better talk. And some joke. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Okay, so here it is. Folks, for the people who take everything fucking dead serious to their heart, like some just chill. It's like, yeah, I got jokes, um, mad jokes, H3H3. H3. I don't know. It's true. I don't he, He's going to take something out of this and be like, that guy sucks. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. But remember, I, the, the thing that I've realized about that guy is like, no, he doesn't work out. So I, I can't take his. Can't take it serious. Can't take his opinion serious. Damn. Someone That's that doesn't tough. work out and like talks down on working out. Can't really yeah. take him serious. That's when I didn't take him serious. I really never did that, guys. Can we move on past that? Come on now. You were being ironic. When you I said even, it. I wasn't even making fun. I wasn't saying don't work out. I don't want they take it so personally. You know? Yeah. When he related working out to laser tag. That's when I was like, man. I can't take him serious. <laughs> And then also the only interaction I ever had with him on the internet was because like someone told me that he was talking shit about me. And like in in, where, in retrospect, when I think about all these things, I'm like, where along the lines did like I ever just talk shit about a random person? Oh, I would that never, I never just met. talk shit about someone. But but then again, that's their type of content. It's like picking apart. But like what, what you guys are, are saying, it's a business for him. Yeah. Like he doesn't have people that love love him for him being funny. I don't think, or him being. I'm sure. I'm sure some people. <laughs> Nobody loves me. Nobody loves you for being funny. What do they love me for? Nothing. Not like Steve. We love Steve for being an alcoholic. Well, sometimes, you know, he travels around with known rapists to hand out money in Brazil. And, Wait, uh, who? What's his name? The the clown? The six nine. Six nine. Six nine. Oh, yeah, that guy. He just went to Russia with him uh, last month. Good buddy. That a lovely time. Huh? Dude, he literally was doing Russian propaganda <laughs> <laughs> during the fucking war. Wow, what a role model. <laughs> <laughs> they paid him like $100,000, right, Abby, to go it, to Russia? No, so I, I misread that part. No, so there was some other Russian dudes. While he was already in Russia with 6 9 who offered him, uh, offered the both of them, like, uh, 95k to come hang out with them or whatever but yeah no they they were in dubai and then they went to russia because um he thought it'd be a good idea for his first video on rumble to be visiting russia during the war and then he had a bunch of shit because the war and because of the uh the basketball player uh, what's her name that was uh held there uh, Brittany uh garner 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 yeah. Brenner? gainer yeah. garner or gainer <laughs> Whatever. People like him for I'm his sure, comedy. I, mean, you know? I don't know. Maybe he is funny. But like, to, and to me, I know that a lot of young males liked me because I was a role model. Young multimillionaire doing crazy things on YouTube. Hanging out with, you know, being best buds with Dana White. Bro, this is, I can't get over this. He goes, yo, I was a role model. I was best buds with Dana White. How's your achievement that you're friends with somebody? Not even that you are somebody, that you've achieved anything. Your so best. I don't beat my wife and children. <laughs> <laughs> just, I know Dana White, so I'm a role model. Bitch, what the fuck? It's well, just... the reality is, I know Dana White. That That is the reality, but he doesn't say that. He's best buds. No, he's not. They're really tight. Him and Dana. Yo, you gotta sit... They stay the... up talking on the phone every night before <laughs> bed. I'm just saying, Steve, you gotta set the bar higher for yourself. Being friends with somebody is not the pinnacle in life. Best, like just doing crazy shit. Yeah, like, I was like a, money. I was like a role model because I'm so young and everything. I just personally don't see that. Like anyone thinks, oh, I want to be a 300 pound podcast host. I don't know. He's, ugly he's wife. small. He's shorter. I don't think he's 300 pounds. I, 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 I want to be a 250 pound podcast host. I was right on. I was 250. That's true. Mm. And to be fair, he might be right. About people not wanting to be a 200 Well, just not wanting to be you, you know? Who wouldn't want to be me? I want to be you. You want to be him? Who doesn't want to be me? I don't want to be you. <laughs> I, I want to be, be me. Mm -hmm. I, like, I like you, so you have to be you. That's right. If, I was, if you were me, you'd be me. 
It'd be the same. Exactly. I couldn't enjoy you the same if I right. was you. No, it'd be the same. You'd be me. But I like... It wouldn't be different at all, because you'd be me. But I like sure. you from a third-party perspective here. I want to be me enjoying you. You can be you, you can enjoying be me. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't want to be you. <laughs> That's fine. How do you go to bed dead and wake with, up alive? With an ugly wife huh? and just talk shit. Okay, here, 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 here it is. Podcast host. I don't know if he's ugly wife. small. He's shorter. I don't think he's hundred pounds. I, I, I want to be a two hundred fifty pound podcast host <laughs> with with an ugly wife and just talk shit about. Oh, he don't dog his wife. I'm gonna dog his wife. Don't dog his wife, bro. I'm gonna dog his wife because she's not pretty. By That's the way, I just this is his girlfriend. No hate to her, obviously. I'm not even gonna comment on her, but just look at her face as he like the the brutal chauvinism, misogyny comes out. She's super uh, thrilled by but, it. And That's fucked. But what I, I have an opinion. She's not pretty. Like who asked? Up, like again, I would rather have sex with Jeffrey Dahmer's than your wife. Well, <laughs> yeah, good thing you probably you have wouldn't want to have podcast. sex with you no, ever. Who the fuck asked? Jeffrey yeah. Dahmer, though. Like, that opportunity, it's <laughs> never going to arise for you. It wasn't so you don't offered. even have to think about it. You know, it. <laughs> between the two, I do think Jeffrey Dahmer would be more likely to sleep with him. So, uh, there is that. Oh, yeah. It's interesting that he says uh, he, he doesn't want to dog your wife. Uh, and it's interesting that he associates dog with sex. Mm. <laughs> mm. Right. Why is that? Why is that? Well, well, first right. of all, I know you wouldn't want to dog my wife because you're into male dogs. You want to, you're like, he's dog. gay. He's gay with dogs. Mm. He's straight with people. As far as we know, we don't we don't know about the other. We have to keep possible our country gay, Griffin. Yeah, we don't know. You know, sex sexuality is very fluid like that. You okay, can be gay with dogs and straight with people. So who is gay? <laughs> I love looking at his girlfriend's face. She's like, man, why am I with this freak? It's true, sure and that's gonna bottom. argue him. But Jeffrey Dahmer's is way more attractive than your wife. That's fucked. Okay, that's fucked. That's it. Uh, every uh, I can't even. I don't even know what days these podcasts will come. Not even a come smile. Back every Tuesday, raw talk. I love you guys. Subscribe to the channel um, if you're on. Yeah. So there is the ultimate. My w <laughs> out of He's nowhere so too. Like you can tell. Out of absolutely nowhere, no uh, one asked. I don't even think Ela was present when we were talking about him. That's cool. uh, I think she was like the third time we brought up the video, but not the first <laughs> two or three. But there was even no need to go there, bro. You have to end the podcast. No, that's it's for true. Sure. And that's and except to prove to us that everything you just said is wrong. Right. You are clearly not a role model because if we're going to reduce stuff down to people's looks and we're going to say that that's important you outwardly said that someone wasn't, which is clearly non-role model behavior, and also all of your credibility has been stripped because Ela is objectively hot. That's the thing. That's what it just always blows my and he mind. He looks like fucking dog shit. <laughs> like, let's be fucking real. It's just such a he, crazy... Let's keep it real. Ugh. That's a great point, Just like Olivia. you said. You must work out. <laughs> oh, yeah, prom. It's just funny how they always make the same point, is that my wife is ugly, and... and I just find it so bizarre. Knock it over my wife. Yeah. How do they how do they come um, and say the same thing? I mean, this needs to be studied. This needs to be like a sociology study into this. It's like when their masculinity gets threatened, which I think is what's happening. They're insecure. And hmm. in their masculinity. It's like they they outwardly attack Maybe that's their way of trying to attack my masculinity, is saying my wife's ugly. They're not used to dealing with someone like you. They're used to dealing with people who are like them, who are just, you know, very insecure, and they could go back and forth, but when they make fun of you and it doesn't bother you, they try to take the next low blow, which is going at your wife. I mean, and, yeah, I mean, it doesn't bother her at all, you know what I mean? Not at all, it's just funny. I never talk about my wife in it, this context. <laughs> it's just such a lose-lose for them. I just find it so interesting. I mean, this is like the fifth time it's happened like this. Fat, your wife is ugly. Credit to Bradley for uh, saying you shouldn't say yeah, that. Yeah, Bra Bradley's a sweetheart. That's what I've been trying to say for the whole time. You know, yeah. Bradley. Bradley. Um, 
He did leave it in, though, and left the bait in the title. But I, I'm team Bradley on that. you got to bait the views. I mean, if you're going to give the first part of that conversation, thank you for giving the second. Mm -hmm. Also, because he stands up and leaves. It was a little mic drop moment. Yeah. They would have just, like, hard cut to, like, thanks for watching that. He's like, like That's the end of the episode, so. Like, also, what it says about him is that a man's significant other's physical beauty defines him it's somehow an insult to him so how attractive his girlfriend is says how successful or inherently good or something he is right yeah because in his framework you know that the girlfriend or the wife or whatever is uh that's that's the trophy you know you want you won that only, no. only job is Field to be of dating pretty. battle. 